Hello and welcome. I hope that everyone is safe and well out there. I want to thank you for taking some valuable time out of your day to join us for today's webinar on video marketing. My name is Chad Collette. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Ledgy Partners, where we help businesses transform their approach to sales, marketing, and customer service by aligning these teams to focus on improving their customer's experience through the use of CRM and marketing automation. Now, we work primarily with Salesforce and Microsoft Dynamics 365 on the CRM side and a number of solutions on the marketing automation slide. In fact, as it relates to marketing, Ledgy provides strategy and process consulting as well as execution services to help you with your email marketing, nurture campaigns, social media, and many other tactics. Now, before I introduce our presenter, I have just a couple quick housekeeping items that I want to cover. Now, today's webinar is being recorded and it will be available on demand after the session. All attendees will receive a follow-up email after the webinar is complete and it will contain a link to access the presentation. Now, please make sure to add LedgyPartners.com to your safe sender list as we want to ensure deliverability of our emails directly to your inbox. Now, to ensure the best audio quality, we have everyone in listen-only mode. But if you have a question and we really encourage those, please submit those in the question pane of your GoToWebinar control panel. We've got a lot of information to get through today, but we'll follow up with you within 24 hours and make sure that every question gets answered. Now that we got those details out of the way, I want to turn our focus for today into our main topic and the presenter. Today, marketers and businesses have a lot of tools at their disposal. Each year, we see that video marketing continues to climb as a key tactic that businesses are utilizing to engage with leads, prospects, and customers. Many companies and marketers, however, don't know where to begin or they think that the barrier of entry into video marketing is expensive and time consuming. Now at Ledger Partners, we've outsourced video production in the past and now we do it in house. And I'm excited, joining us today is Julia Flaherty, digital marketing specialist from our marketing team here at Ledger. Now Julia oversees all of our digital assets here at Ledger and is our true video marketing expert. Now she's ready to break it all down for you and share some basics, best practices and some pitfalls and more so you can take full advantage of all the benefits that video marketing can provide. Julia, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Chad. Hi, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to join me for today's presentation, Video Marketing 101, where, as Chad said, I'll be covering the basics, benefits, the best practices, pitfalls, and tools around video marketing. Before I dive into today's presentation, I just want to take a moment to introduce myself and the company that I work for, Ledgeview Partners. So you already told a little bit about what we do. We're a business and technology consulting firm who partners with organizations like many of yours on the call today to transform sales, marketing, and customer service operations and processes supported by core technology like customer relationship management and, you guessed it, marketing automation. I've been with Ledgeview for a little over two years and have been working professionally in the field of marketing for over five. I've done everything you can think of from video production to social media management, data analysis, content production, influencer marketing, editorial, blog management, you name it. I'm excited to be in this field because marketing is always evolving and it's very comprehensive. I love the opportunities it presents to grow, learn, and collaborate as I go very stimulating field. For today's presentation, though, I'm going to be taking a special focus on my experience with video marketing and help you identify ways it can apply to your unique business needs. So now that you have a clear idea, let's dive in. If at any time you have a question or comment, please submit those in the question pane of your GoToWebinar control panel, and I'll try and follow up at the end of today's presentation if there's time or answer them later via email. So in today's presentation, as I previously mentioned, I'll be covering those basics, benefits, best practices, and pitfalls of video marketing. And then we'll break into tools and technology that you can use to be the best at it. And then if there's time, we'll get into that discussion and answering some questions. I wanna be sure everyone gets the most out of today's time, and I thank you for giving me some of yours. All right, sound good? Let's do this basics. So as for the basics, we'll go over the technical definition of video marketing, then we'll talk about ads versus organic traffic, and I'll answer a few common video marketing questions like, 
how do I know if it's right for me? How do I create a plan? And how do I build my team to deliver? But before I answer those questions, let's take a pause to get excited about video marketing because these stats are pretty impressive. In 2018, 85% of all internet users in the U.S. watched online video content monthly on any of their devices. This should sound off some alarms in your marketing brains if you haven't started a video marketing plan yet. And we'll talk about how to create your own later in the presentation. Videos are a consumer's favorite type of content to see from a brand on social media. So think about your own engagement habits here. How much more likely are you on any given day to watch a video rather than read an article? Whether you're thinking about an advertisement you see on a website that you frequent, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, etc. Many of these platforms thrive off of video. Why? Because we love it. Let's be honest, our attention spans are pretty short nowadays. And we as marketers must set ourselves up to meet modern content consumption demands like this. 87% of marketing professionals use video marketing as a tool. This means B2B and B2C. So if you're sitting here thinking, Julia, will this apply to me as a B2B marketer? Absolutely it will. And we'll elaborate about that as we go. Much of which I'll talk about today could probably branch off into its own smaller webinar series. So for today's presentation, I'll strive to give the best overview possible of each of these subtopics. So first, let's get the technical definition out of the way. The technical definition of video marketing is a component of an integrated marketing communications plan designed to increase audience engagement through social activity around a given video. I think the most important phrase in that is an integrated marketing communications plan, because we as marketers know that video marketing is part of a much larger marketing landscape. Everything connects. We incorporate video marketing into a much larger agenda, and that marketing plan could overlap with email marketing, internet marketing, mobile marketing, social media marketing, or marketing automation, whatever suits your unique needs. Video marketing can easily be incorporated into a lead gen strategy, nurture campaign, social media ad series, and so on. What's important is that we don't just add it to our marketing agenda to meet modern demand, but we do it to meet the modern demands of our business and customers with a clear purpose and strategy in mind. This, of course, will be different for every organization, but what's important is that we give it a go to stay ahead. There's a common misconception that I'll elaborate on later in this presentation that you have to have a big budget to do video marketing, but you don't. A little can go a long way so long as you know how to leverage the budget that you have. And there is still power in employee advocacy and organic video marketing traffic. Let's just look at these stats to help reassure us. 89% of video marketers say video gives them a good return on investment. So if you're afraid to get started with it and you're unsure about budget, start small and then go big. Work with ad specialists, learn along the way, grow as you go. 83% of video marketers say video helps them with lead generation. This tells us a lot about lead personas and how to more effectively engage them with our larger marketing strategy. 91% of video marketer, of marketers are satisfied with the ROI of video marketing on social media. That is a large number that should work in your favor should you choose to pursue a video marketing strategy now or in the near future. Oh, that is a lot of information. So take a deep breath with me. We'll get through it. And I promise it's a lot of good stuff. So first, let's answer these hows. How do I know if it's right for me? For everyone sitting there still not convinced that video marketing is a good idea for your organization, let's consider the value. If you want to provide valuable information to your audience in a way that's engaging to them, Video marketing is a great asset to your overall marketing strategy. If you want to boost your conversion ratings on social media, Tubular Insights reported that 64% of consumers made a purchase after watching a brand's social video. So while the 
C to B sales cycle may be longer than B to C, this is still an attractive consideration for the B to B space. Videos can lead to website convergence, conversions, which may later lead to blog subscribes and customer conversions down the line. You want to modernize your marketing strategy or add a new element to it. Facebook execs predicted that by 2021, their platform would be all video and no text. That is less than a year away and is a critical consideration. So while you may say you're not on Facebook, and that's okay, you don't have to be if it doesn't make sense for your brand. All of the major social media networks tend to flow in the same direction when it comes to content and what people want from it. Just think about the types of content, again, that you see on LinkedIn or Twitter. These predictions are based off of audience behavior, and it's likely that your audience, the one that you're targeting, is a part of this big online crowd. Now. How do I create a plan? You'll want to start by answering these questions. What tools, talent, and resources you'll need to make this happen? Is your video marketing plan going to be in-house or outsourced? Who will be responsible for which aspects of video production based on the answer to number one? How will your video marketing efforts overlap and fit into your other content marketing efforts? How will you track your video marketing successes to improve down the line? What analytic and tracking tools will you use to measure your progress? What types of video marketing are you interested in pursuing first? Think about everything video marketing is. It includes webinars just like this. 10 second ads, 30 second ads, will you be on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn? These questions really just touch the surface, and to know what's right for you and what to do first, you need to talk to your team to decide what's important and create your plan. So how do you build this team to deliver? Follow these steps. You want to start by establishing your goals and then move on to design your plan. What will your video marketing strategy look like? Then you'll want to establish responsibilities to determine if you have the in-house talent to complete and meet them or if you do need to outsource. Then we'll seek out tools and resources for success, measure your program over time to improve, consider connecting with relevant specialists for assistance or pursue online classes or certification programs, engage with your customers, create content with them in mind. Remember, it's about a we versus me marketing strategy. So now that we've covered these basics, let's, let's move on to address the pitfalls and put some misconceptions to rest. What should I watch out for? We'll go over misconceptions and then address some do's and don'ts to keep you on the path to success. Misconception number one, video marketing is expensive. Video marketing is not expensive. It can be done in so many ways. A good iPhone and the right app can go a long way. Just do a little digging. Use minimal equipment. You might need to buy an iPhone stabilizer tripod, for example, if you're shooting client testimonials so the camera doesn't appear shaky. Use in-house talent you already have. Your own employees might be interested in being a part of your marketing videos. Use your customers if they're willing and their own policies allow. Shoot lots of B-roll and background footage at once if you're going for that style of video. Or if you don't have the time and talent in-house to do it, refer to your outside peers for advice on agencies or hiring freelancers. Don't rule anything out and be open-minded. There are so many avenues to explore that can fit into your budget. Leverage what you have and understand how you can potentially apply it. Number two, video marketing is too time consuming. Well, video marketing is not time consuming, so long as you have a good plan for time management. This applies to any strategy we have in business. The more you prepare, the better off you'll be. The more you prepare your video shoots ahead of time, the, the better you'll be to set yourself up for success. You don't have to put a lot of ad spend behind it either for it to be effective. Again, just leverage what you have. If your budget is $50, that's great. Work with it. If it's $500 or $1,000, that's great too. But you have to know how to work with that money regardless in order to optimize your outcome. You could waste $50 as easily as $1,000. Just know how to use it before you dive in headfirst. 
video marketing doesn't drive a high return on investment. Video marketing actually has an amazing return on investment. UpCity has reported stats like video marketers get 66% more qualified leads per year. 82% of consumers have been encouraged to take action after viewing a marketing video. 81% of businesses said their explainer video helped them increase sales. Almost half of all users look for a video online before visiting a store. Again, not applicable to B2B necessarily, but the same can be said about videos leading consumers to a website. Remember, put yourself in the consumer's shoes. You are a consumer in some situations, I'm sure. Think about how much more likely you are to engage with a video over a lengthy blog post, and blogs work in a totally different way than videos. So really consider your own engagement to better understand your buyers. What makes you buy or become interested in that brand, service, or product? 84% of consumers have bought something after watching a video. I would encourage you to check out Biteable's list of 2020 video marketing stats. I can send you that link after the webinar if you're interested, and we are also working on releasing our own sales and marketing 2020 stats you can't afford to miss, so stay tuned for that as well. Video marketing is not repurposable. Sure it is. Think about everything that video marketing is. It could include demos, webinars, tutorials, culture, service videos, just and much more. Think about how that all connects. You could make a video to promote your webinar. You could create a 10 second GIF promo. You could create a podcast or infographic based off of that webinar or video. Think outside the box. For webinars, you can transcribe the audio and turn it into an ebook, tip sheet, white paper, or blog series. There's truly so much to be done that can be done. So don't be afraid to get super creative here. Number five, video marketing doesn't work for every business type or industry. Video marketing is effective for every industry and business, but it's about how it's executed that makes it different. Much like with implementing CRM or marketing automation, for example, if you've experienced that. We wouldn't have a nonprofit use CRM in the same way we would a manufacturing plant, but we would encourage them to get going with it. A wide array of audiences respond to video ads. Staff don't lie. It's just a matter of communicating your message to your audience. Video is a very powerful content type. And along with this, different industries or business types may find it more difficult to implement a video marketing strategy, but don't be deterred. Think within your capabilities. When you think about a video marketing strategy, think about what your business is capable of and start from there. Don't hold yourself to the same expectation as a much larger company. Every business and individual starts somewhere. What's important is that you start. Being in the B2B space, we have a different way of approaching things and are usually more informational based than sometimes flowery B2C videos. So think about how you can turn your products and services into something that's engaging, whether that's with a series of informational video infographics, or a 10 minute Q&A answer session with your experts. Do a Facebook Live video or even a LinkedIn Live video. Again, lots of possibilities and potential here. Video only works when it gets a lot of views. Going viral doesn't necessarily mean the video is good. It could in fact mean the opposite and that you've created something awkward, insensitive, or even off brand. Going viral isn't the aim, or at least it shouldn't be. You're not a teen influencer. Get your videos in front of the right audience on the right platform to drive the right engagement to your website. Provide value and benefit to your target audience in every piece of content. If you want to leverage your content to get it in front of other networks, try connecting with like-minded marketing experts on today's call even to reshare each other's stuff on your own personal feeds. We all have very different, different uh, valuable networks to share with. There may be some overlap, but overall we have unique audiences we can uh, help leverage and benefit from. There also may be opportunities for collaborations and reshares with some of your business partners. My team is inexperienced. This can't work. Everyone starts somewhere. Think about it. 
Compared to 10 years ago, how little did you know compared to now in your profession? Give yourself that time to grow and blossom. Invest in educating yourself with online tutorials, demos, or by consulting your peers or experts. Start a certification course or class. My CEO will never get on board the video marketing bandwagon. Sure they will, but don't just throw the idea at them without clearly stating your mission and purpose with video marketing. Treat it like any other business proposal. Show them the data, facts, and your plan for execution. Executives who are in the know should know just how important video is. Warm them up to the idea if they don't, though, and don't hold it against them. Start somewhere. You don't have to completely upend your strategy in one day. My current marketing strategy isn't broken. Why fix it? As marketers, we have to constantly adapt and evolve as our customers do. So while I understand this mentality, remember, the only constant is change. Start video marketing efforts today to keep up with your competition and customers and get ahead of your competition. Video marketing is in high demand. Don't underestimate its importance or value. Look at your current state compared to your future state to determine your approach and priorities with video marketing. So now that we've covered these misconceptions, let's move into the do's and do nots. Do not restrict your content to one platform. Do test video engagement and results across platforms. Give your platforms a try before you rule anything out. See where your audience is. Again, this doesn't mean you have to be good at everything. Applying focus is good. Test out what networks work for you and then hone in on the ones where your customers most frequently engage. Don't worry about the rest. Being okay or mediocre at every platform isn't as good as focusing on a few where you can be truly excellent. Do not shamelessly promote. Do make your content about your audience. Fuel them with information they crave from you. Don't overpromote your brand in the process. We think about the we versus me marketing strategy here. You can have that clear call to action and you should have a clear call to action, but the whole point about your video shouldn't be about you. Unless of course you're making a services or product video, but even then you want to express how your services are valuable to your customers in a way that's natural and empathizes and relates to their lives and their needs. Do not start video marketing without a clear and defined strategy. Failure to prepare means you're prepared to fail. Cliche as the saying is, it holds a lot of truth. Do have a clear strategy in mind so you can meet your goals. Do not neglect your data. Measure your success with analytic tools. Check in on how your social video ads are performing using the platform you're promoting them on or track with Google Analytics for marketing automation or even CRM if your system allows. Do not be inconsistent with branding. Videos are really fun to be creative with, but don't stray from your brand's overall look or mission in the process. Do not neglect multi-device users. A strong majority of audiences consume content on their mobile devices. We've become a mobile society, so be sure that your video content is mobile friendly. And number seven, do not have unrealistic expectations. Remember, video marketing doesn't have to go viral to be effective. So now that we've cleared the air about misconceptions, let's break into some even more fun stuff, how to be successful. We'll talk about investing in the right tools, tech, and people, and go over how to create a long-term plan to measure the success of your investment in video marketing. Stock elements. Stock elements are very important, as you might not have all of the tools or resources available in-house, and they are priced differently. There are some free resources and some premium or paid. Of course, you usually get what you pay for, but do a little bit of homework with some forums to discover the best tools for you. Some I use include Envato Elements, Big Stock Photo, Pixabay, Ben Sound, Canva, etc. There are many others out there, so if you have questions and want me to name drop a few more, just shoot me an email at the end of today's presentation. I'll provide that information about how you can get in touch. Editing software. 
Editing software is very important, but not all of us know how to use it. That's why it's important to dive into learning tools. I would, of course, recommend, if you do know how to use it, Adobe Premiere or After Effects for video creation and editing. There are a lot of helpful articles and learning tools on these on the web if you don't know how. Buffer also recommends free ones like Clipchamp, Create, Headliner, Quick by GoPro, and more. I can't personally recommend them as I haven't tried them myself, but I do have trust in Buffer, so I would recommend checking that out if you want to break the surface in a more non-committed way. Learning tools are very important, and everyone starts somewhere. As technology evolves, we always have something new to learn. Use tools like Lynda or just go on YouTube. Consult a specialist or turn to your peers or outside agencies for help if you're outsourcing. Social media. This is all about where you'll promote that content you create. See where your audience is. You don't have to be great at every platform. Focus on those few you can be excellent at. They may range from YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. They might even branch into a netline or reach, for example. Employee advocacy. This is another important consideration. How will you get your internal team to promote your brand, products, services, or messages? Will you stick with traditional emails? Uh, for example, we at Ledgeview do weekly updates to share what's new and provide tips for how our employees can promote and then share fun tidbits to keep them engaged and keep them sharing. You might use a project management software or a collaboration tool to let them know what's new, like Asana or Microsoft Teams. Use what makes sense for your team and is something you've already adopted or are willing to invest in and adopt. So now let's talk about investing in the right team. You'll need to analyze your current team's skills and talents to determine whether or not video marketing is something you should outsource or keep internally. Once you've determined that, you can decide who will be responsible for each aspect of your video strategy. Hold everyone accountable for their part in your video marketing strategy, and if you do decide to outsource, make sure to keep a pulse and frequently communicate with your outsourcing partner. How will you work with your team together to achieve your short and long-term video marketing goal? How will you execute this plan? What's that going to look like? Where is this being documented and managed collaboratively? Who's leading the charge and sponsoring it to keep everyone aligned and working in unity towards the common marketing goal? How will you measure your success and check in? How are you analyzing and tracking? So how are we going to create this exactly? First, we'll figure out what content we need to create. What topics do you need to cover? What's in high demand from your customers? What are they already talking about? What do they need from you to be successful? How can you help them in an engaging way with video content? Once you answer these questions about what you'll need, you'll need to answer the how. Outline how your content will look. For example, at Let's Be Partners, we've focused on a variety of topics in the past. But let's think about CRM user adoption for this example. We created eBooks after creating a webinar about how to achieve high user adoption at any CRM project phase. Specifically, we turned it into five eBooks, and then it all goes together. Then we created some social media specific infographic style videos, as well as a video to promote the eBook for download. Map all of that out before you start. You don't want to end up chasing squirrels, so to speak. Once you map all of this out and define your roles, responsibilities, how your content will look, and how you'll execute this, you can begin the execution process from preparing the shots, to buying the right equipment, to joining the right social media networks, to editing, to promoting, and more. Once you've finalized that video content, you'll tackle your promotion plan for sharing on social media, whether that's on your current networks or you start a YouTube or Vimeo account. Include relevant videos on your website, too. Maybe you'll create a video how-to category on your website. Be sure it's optimal speed for videos as well. There are so many possibilities with sharing. Wherever you share, just be sure to track so that you can move on to number five and measure your success. Track all of your video engagements, whether you put ad spend behind them or they're organic. You want to identify what works and doesn't, like with anything else. Do those A-B tests. 
So we have unpacked a lot of information today. And while I'd love to open it up to questions, we do have limited time, and I respect that you have other meetings and work to get to. So if you want to talk more about this topic or have a question, please follow up with me via email, and I'll share that info on another slide. We at Ledgeview have a lot of marketing resources to offer you, whether you're interested in learning more about creating and following through with a comprehensive marketing automation strategy, are struggling with lead generation, want to do better at aligning your sales and marketing teams, want to create a new social media campaign or something else. Check out our blogs, infographics, ebooks, and more. They're always available for complimentary download. If you need any help with your marketing plans, strategies, or programming, we cover it all from marketing outsourcing to marketing automation, technology implementation to marketing consulting. You can learn more about those service offerings anytime at LedgeVPartners.com. Please reach out to us with any questions you may have about these services and how they might apply to you. We'd love to start a conversation. I'd also love to invite you to join our marketing experts group on Facebook to share tips, news, insights, and more. It's a collaborative space designed to spark conversation between fellow marketers like us, and everyone's welcome to join. Just answer two very simple questions so I know you're not a robot and really want to contribute. To do that, just go to facebook.com slash ledgeVPartners and click on groups in the left navigation below our profile icon. Click on marketing experts answer the questions, and submit to join. I'll approve you easily so long as you follow these steps, and I'm super excited to make this even more collaborative with you. So before I hand things back over to Chad here, I want to say thank you so much for sticking around until the end. Reach me via email or on Twitter or LinkedIn, and you can always reach out to Ledgeview via our website. I hope you're doing and feeling well, and have a great day, and I'll hand things back over to Chad. Thank you so much, Julia, for that great information and insight into the world of video marketing. Hopefully everyone now feels a bit more comfortable and empowered to add this tactic to your marketing strategy. Now again, keep an eye on your inbox for a copy of today's webinar that you can share and access on demand. And as Julia mentioned, please visit ledgypartners.com for a number of educational resources and watch for additional webinars coming up, not only on marketing, but CRM and sales, user adoption, customer service, and, and so much more. Ledgy Partners is here to help you succeed, so please let us know your top sales and marketing challenges and let's have a discussion. So until we speak again, stay safe and above all, stay healthy. Thank you and have a great day.